only one ingredient to be used only once a week for massive hair growth. You can already see it on the screen. It is rosemary and today we are making rosemary water. Now if you're not new to this channel, you know how much I love rosemary oil and how much benefits it has. So I thought today I would share with you how to make rosemary water. If you don't know me, my name is Angelica. I post videos twice a week, every single week, all about growing long, healthy, shiny, natural hair. So if that seems interesting, consider subscribing. The subscription button is right down there in the corner as well as the bell make sure you hit the bell so you get notifications whenever i post a video so as you can see i just broke those rosemary stems and put them in some water it is actually distilled water or mineral water whichever one you want to use that's what i would ad i would advise you can use tap water but it just won't be as effective because tap water usually has chemicals and Mineral water is just the best, okay? Just use it. So make sure you put just enough to submerge the rosemary. You do not want to do a full pot unless you're making this for a lot of people because unfortunately, as much as I love this, it does go bad very quickly. You can only keep it in the fridge for about three to five days. So if you're making this for yourself, just make a little bit. And even if you've made too little, it's still going to be very potent and you can just dilute it with more water. So as you can see, I brought it to a boil and it's making this like foamy kind of substance come to the top and once that substance starts to look like a little bit purple a little bit red or brown then you know that most of the nutrients most of the stuff that you want to get out of the rosemary is basically out so once that happens i usually leave it to boil for another minute then i turn it off and i just put the lid on and leave it to cool down with the lid on and then once it's cool i take it off and the water looks like this brown red color sometimes it looks more brown sometimes it looks more red but basically if you want to know how to make it that's literally it it's done so now i decant it into a glass jar i will put the rest in the fridge because i think my mom might want to to use some and that's what was in the strainer a little bit of dirt little bit of rosemary leaves that's it so now i'm putting it into my applicator bottle you can put this into a spray bottle whatever kind of bottle or you can just put it in a jug and kind of dump it over your head but i find that using an applicator bottle is actually the best way to use a water so as you can see i filled it up halfway and then i filled the rest just with plain water because it was very potent so i'm applying it on dry ish hair it's freshly washed and the reason why i went under a t-shirt to t-shirt dry don't use a towel please use a t-shirt is because i wanted my hair to be damp but i didn't want it to be dripping wet okay i like my, when my hair is wet it absorbs products better but i wanted to use as much rosemary water as possible aka i'm using the whole bottle that i made the entire bottle in one use so that's why i made sure that my hair is dry i would usually do this in the shower but we're doing this here so i just put a little bit of conditioner in my hair to make sure that my hair didn't get super dry and now it's time to start with the application now you can apply it however you want but this is my suggested order i always apply products like this onto the scalp first because while it does have amazing benefits for the hair shaft i think it has even more benefits on the scalp so i make sure i focus on the scalp first and make sure that my scalp and all the hair closest to my scalp is completely saturated in rosemary water and once i'm done with putting it on the scalp then i move on to putting it on the hair and i focus this and put a generous amount all over my hair shaft i just squeeze it out which is why i suggested this you can use a spray bottle but i find that it is much faster if i just use one of these applicator bottles and it is slightly messy because it's a water so also please wear something black or dark because because of its red brownie color it can possibly stay in your clothes so just be aware of that so once it's evenly all over my hair i go ahead and soak my ends because the ends are the oldest and most prone to damage part of your hair so i make sure i always focus a little extra product there and then i just work it in and once i feel like it's perfectly saturated i go ahead and separate it and do one nice big loose twist and move on to the next section now everything i did to this section i will do exactly the same to the other three sections and while i'm doing that Let's just share a little bit of benefits in case you're wondering why you should actually use this and if it's actually worth using. So rosemary water, so rosemary water is one of the most researched products that can be done DIY. I would say ever compared to anything else, whether it's onion juice, whether it is rice water, 
everything rosemary is the most highly researched thing that is the most widely available it has been compared to minoxidil and rogaine which are basically the same thing which is actually a product that you need to be prescribed by a dermatologist it is a researched medical product that has proven to help with hair growth in both men and women and rosemary has been compared to both those products and said it works even better or just as effective as those two products so much research has been done recently and in the past even superman henry cavill uses rosemary water on his hair okay it is that effective and you see how nice his hair looks this works whether you have caucasian hair asian hair african hair no matter your curl pattern hair texture it'll make your hair longer stronger shinier healthier and the way it does this is in many ways. So first of all, it increases circulation on your scalp. It decreases hair loss and promotes scalp health. And the way it helps your hair grow is it inhibits hormones that can create hair loss. Some examples of these hormones are DHT and testosterone. So this is all round an amazing product. Now, speaking of dilating blood vessels to send more oxygen and nutrients to your scalp to increase hair growth, there are some side effects. If you are on medication, if you are on hair growth medication like Rogaine or Minoxidil, if you are pregnant, breastfeeding, if you have any other medical condition like high blood pressure, I would highly suggest that you consult with your physician or your dermatologist just to make sure that mixing this is not going to add because again, this is a very potent, highly researched, highly effective product. So you don't want to just use it anyhow. So please consult if you have any of the things that I've mentioned. Also, if you tend to react to things a lot, like if you get allergies and you just react to a lot of things, please try and test it out on your arm or somewhere else just to see if you're going to react. And then if nothing happens, you can go ahead and use it on your hair. Just because something is natural, it does not mean it's going to have no side effects. And speaking of natural products, I know I'm going to get this question. Can I mix this with rice water? Can I mix this with um, onion juice? No, this is extremely potent and highly effective. Like I've said over and over, you do not need to mix it with anything. If you have to use rice water and rosemary oil, first of all, do not use it in the same day. Second of all, use them separately, separate days, most likely separate weeks. So you could use rosemary oil this week. You could use rice water next week. It is all up to you, but do not mix them. Do not use them on the same day. And now I know I can foresee another question coming. Which one is better, rosemary water or rice water? To be honest, everything works according to how it works on you. The research might show that rosemary water is way better than rice water, but rice water may work better for you. They might say rice water is so much better than rosemary water, but then rosemary water works for you better. So if you want to try this out, please do not use it at the same time as any other like DIY treatment that you're using or even a bot treatment. Use this separately for let's say three months and see if it actually makes a difference and if it works for you, that's amazing. It's highly likely you can continue using it, but if you mix it with other stuff, you're not going to know. And as I always say, natural products are highly unstable. So if you mix them together, you might not know what kind of reaction is going to happen. So please use it by itself. Now my personal favorite, I'm not sure yet. So far I am so impressed with Rosemary that I'm gonna be using rosemary water and rosemary oil for the next three months. Speaking of rosemary oil, again, another Q&A. Which one is better, rosemary water or rosemary oil? To be honest, rosemary water and rosemary oil are almost exactly the same when it comes to the benefits. The only difference would be rosemary essential oil and rosemary extract oil. So recently I did a video on how to make the rosemary oil, which is more of a rosemary extract oil than a rosemary essential oil. There, they will be minor differences because the extracts tend to have slightly different benefits, although they are very similar. However, when it comes to the water and the oil, it just depends on which mode you would use more often and which mode you like. So if you do more wet DIYs like, you know, aloe vera, rice water, those kinds of things, and you enjoy doing that and you know you can do it as often as you need to, like once a week or at least twice a month, I would suggest you use the rosemary water. However, if you use a lot of oils in your hair and you're more like most, 
and you're most likely to use rosemary oil more often than the rosemary water, I would suggest you use the rosemary water. Can you use both? Absolutely. Can you use both on the same day? You absolutely can. Can you use them at the same time? No. Water and oil don't mix, so you're literally just wasting time. Please do not mix your water and your oil. Just use the rosemary water. This is actually what I did on this day. After I used my rosemary water, at the end of my wash day, or let me say the next day, I did go ahead and put rosemary oil on my scalp because I am so in love with it and it is extremely effective. The hair that I cut off, the hair that I cut off has mostly grown back. Like I cut about five inches of my hair when I did my straightening routine, which another one is coming up because I definitely am in need of another trim. It's been half a year. The hair has grown back so quickly and the rosemary oil is definitely doing something amazing. If you have used rosemary oil or rosemary water, let me know your experience in the comment section below because I would love to know. So as you can see, now it is time for the scalp massage portion. It is thoroughly incorporated. I finished the whole bottle in my hair. I made sure I put a little extra on my edges and my ends. Did my scalp massage and now I am tying my twists together and going under a plastic cap or a plastic bag. And usually I would go under heat for 30 minutes or 20 minutes, but it is extremely hot. So I just put a towel over the bag. You can even put a beanie over the bag if it's really hot and just stay with it for about 20 minutes. Then I went ahead and washed it out with my regular products and continued with my wash day and did my rosemary oil on the next day. This is hands down the best DIY out there, whether you go for the water or the oil. This is what my hair looks like after the towel is off and my twists are down. My hair is doing so well. It is growing so fast. And this is the current length of my hair. It is doing amazing. Hit my face on the side of the screen. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.